Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Tuesday, April 30th, 2024. And now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. One of China's largest airlines, China Southern, is buying 100 domestically built planes, the C919, produced by the state-owned Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, COMAC. The plane is considered an emerging competitor to Airbus's A320 and the Boeing 737. Airlines editor Gordon Smith examines if other airlines will look to buy these Chinese-built aircraft. Just last week, Air China signed a similar agreement with COMAC for 100 C919 jets. The bigger question is if international carriers will be tempted to buy. Kristen Scherer, the CEO of Airbus's commercial aircraft division, has said the C919, quote, isn't going to rock the boat, unquote. However, one Boeing executive said the plane maker is factoring in competition from the C919 in its long-term forecast. Next, TUI CEO Sebastian Ebel believes recent protests in the Canary Islands against mass tourism aren't about the industry itself. He says residents are angry about a shortage of housing, writes Travel Experiences reporter Jesse Chase Lubitz. Protesters are calling on authorities to limit tourist arrivals to ease pressure on the environment, infrastructure, and housing supply. Chase Lubitz notes many Canary Island residents argue that mass tourism is pricing them out of their homes. However, Apple said the unregulated online booking platforms are the reason housing prices have gone up, not tourism as a whole. Apple blamed individual trips, which include people booking local apartments, for causing more housing to be offered as holiday accommodation. Finally, columnist Colin Nagy argues the ideals of luxury hospitality have been distorted so much that guests are struggling to understand reality. Great properties don't get the attention they deserve, and others serve up superficial goods but fail to deliver. He looks at problems and suggests ways to fix them. Nagy cites the decline of travel media as one area of concern noting he believes thoughtful, unbiased commentary on hotels is disappearing. He lists writers and publications worth reading. Nagy also writes that luxury offerings all look the same and urges readers to support brands carving out unique spaces. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skiff Daily Newsletter at skiff.com slash daily. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.